Hello, KISS Army. I'm Pasquale Veri. And I am Claudius Pera. Welcome to Let Me Know, A Short Kiss. The wait is finally over. Ace Freely's new album, 10,000 Volts, has been released, and we're going to give you our perspective on Ace's latest achievements. So, Claudio, get us started. So, after your first listen to the album, what was your first impression of 10,000 Volts? I, I really liked it. Uh, you know, the first... Uh, just getting from the first song till the very last, uh, it, it it pumped me up. I, I loved it. So the, you know, we're going to go into the details maybe a little, a little bit, bit later, but, um, you know, the sound and the the melodies, uh, catchy. Uh, okay, we can talk about the lyrics, whatever, but first impression, uh, Pasc, I have to tell you, really, really surprised. I loved it. And I think that it's uh, up to the expectations because, you know, he's been promoting so bad, you know, this album, uh, even comparing to the one in the, from, from his original 78. But uh, maybe if he doesn't get there, I I still loved it. So to me, that's the best that he's done in a, in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. What about you? What do you think? I, I made the mistake of listening to his first two singles before the album came out, and I never do that. And I listened to 10,000 Volts and I liked it and I got excited. I thought, okay, if the rest of the album is like this, it's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then I listened to uh, Walking on the Moon and I just wasn't impressed with that song. Okay. And my expectations went down. So I'm listening to the album now for the first time. And obviously 10,000 Volts comes on. Um, I enjoyed it. Walking on the Moon, eh, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting more of the same type of ace music, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then um, Cosmic Heart comes on, mm -hmm. Cherry Medicine, the demo, uh, back into my arms again. It's like, oh my God, this thing is amazing. It's catchy, it's fun, it's rock, but poppy at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't help like bobbing my head as I'm listening to the songs. And it's like, I'm really enjoying this mm -hmm. because I feel that typical Ace songs are okay mediocre at best there's a couple of catchy tunes but one after the other after the other it's like oh my god this is incredible and another reason i hate listening to the singles before the album is is, is released is because i want to hear the album in its entirety and mm -hmm. each of the songs fit in the context of the entire album just listening to one song outside of that context to me makes it different it's true. So even walking on the moon, I enjoyed it better in the context of, of the, the entire, album. yeah, of the entire album, which I thought was really cool. But overall, what really struck me about this album, um, the production was yeah. amazing. The yeah. tunes were catchy. And maybe I'm wrong about this, but I found a certain amount of, I don't know, maturity in his uh -huh. lyrics, you know, uh -huh. he always talks about his life and, you know, overcoming his drug addiction and, you know, his, his hardships and things like that. And there was some of that in this album as well. But I just got the impression that this album was almost like an ode to his fiance Lara. I think she had a huge influence absolutely on, on his writing on yeah. this album and something like, you know, uh, Cherry Medicine and and Constantly Cute. It's like it's a message to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I got the same feeling. You know, normally, you know, Ace, uh, uh, we're, we're not used to to get songs from Ace. You know, talking about you know uh, her fiance, his fiance, or something like that. And uh, and uh, exactly as you said before, you know, uh, lyrics like uh, "blinded," you know, where where he's talking about AI and technology and all of that. That was kind of cool. I liked it. You know, I I, I love that uh, he wrote about that. Him being uh, the the most uh, techy guy of uh, of of the Kiss camp, uh, I I think it was cool that he took the time to write a uh, to write a song about that. And I also liked um, the fact that uh, you know the he puts a staple on on each one of his albums by by wrapping it up with the stratosphere, which uh, in my taste, you know, I I could have loved the, the song to be a little bit longer. I know I don't know why for some reason it kind of kind of uh, cuts off. But uh, you know that's that's a real staple of of Ace Freely, you know, uh, uh, finishing up with that song. And let me tell you, you were talking about production. You were talking about you know the kind of how the how the songs are crafted. I think that Steve Brown has a lot to do with this. And um, 
you know, I'm really happy that they they collaborated, they worked together. Uh, you can see a real twist in in uh, in the way uh, you know AC is writing and and even singing, you know, and the and the riffs and all of that. You know, loved it, loved it, really loved it. No, first of all, when I'm listening to the album, I'm getting the impression that Ace finally is truly, truly happy. That's yeah. number one. That's number yeah. one. But number two, you know, I, I read about, you know, Ace didn't play a lot of his solos on the album. There was, there was a lot of auto-tune in the album as well. Hmm. The production was really, really well done, you know, and it really, it really elevated, I feel, his performance. Now, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. You know, um, you know the, the the Kiss shows with the backing tracks. Listen, mm. it was necessary to to have an amazing show, mm. and whatever was done on this album, it worked. It, it worked. really yeah. worked. It was an yeah. incredible album. I'm not crazy about his voice, but yeah. the way it was produced, um, and 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 even the the auto tuning, it worked for him. It worked yeah. for the album, yeah. and I enjoyed it so much more. <laughs> I think I wouldn't have enjoyed this album as much. If the production wasn't there, it, this yeah. album wouldn't have worked otherwise, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, same here, same here. We're on the same uh, on the same boat there. So, Pask, let, let me ask you something. So, after after listening to the album at least three times, okay. So you you walk me through uh, your experience. You know, uh, when you were exposed to the singles and then uh, listening to the album one time, maybe twice. How about three times or more? What are your least favorite and most favorite songs? How about 10 times? I've been listening to, to the album two or three times a day oh. um, since it turned up on Spotify. Just love it. Okay, so my 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 top from, from least favorite to most. There um, you go. I got to say, though, Stratosphere, I didn't count it with the overall songs. I just thought I can't compare Stratosphere with the other songs. Mm -hmm. I see it more like rock and roll party on uh, Destroyer. It's like okay. it's, a, it's a cool ending, but I don't find it's part of the musicality. You don't put it as of a the song. album, so I'm not counting that. Okay, I'm not counting that. Now, um, this was tough because each song, in a sense, alternates with each passing day, either one before or one after. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of in terms of how much I, I enjoyed it. It, it, it's really tough to rank. But I have to say, uh, my least favorite, number 10, is still Walking on the Moon, although I did enjoy it more after a few more listens on the album, okay. again, in the context of the entire thing. Number nine, Blinded. Okay. Again, a good song, catchy, but there had to be a few songs at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm, that's right. But, so, yeah. Uh, number eight, Up in the Sky. Okay. I, I I love the idea that there's something out there, and that's very very typical Ace. Yeah, you know? very Ace. And, and yeah. I and I think that um, you know, walking on the moon, blinded, up in the sky is typical Ace that you would find yeah. on any other solo album. Yeah. And I think if the rest of the album was like that, I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. It's true. It's be, true. I, you know, it, you you said you the actually you you hit the nail there because you know I I. One of the reasons why I did not enjoy so much, you know, the previous work from from Ace, it's because he was too much into the character of the spaceman. You know, everything is spaceman. So come on. So now th this is a good a, a good mixture. Come on. Let, let, so keep it going. But that's it, right? It, it's not all about the spaceman or that character. Yeah. He, he finally went beyond that. And number seven, I just love this song. It's cute, constantly cute. Okay. I love that song. It's just so catchy, so much fun. And you know, I can almost I can almost see Lara just listen to the song as Ace is singing it to her kind of thing. It's like, right. oh Ace, you're so sweet. That's such a cute song. <laughs> cute song. Um, the opener, 10,000 volts, number six. Yeah. Fant fantastic song. Fantastic song. Um, again, a typical Ace song, but with a harder punch to it, I yeah. found, you know. Yeah. And then I was really shocked, man. Back into my arms again. I heard that Oof, song. I, I heard that. that demo. Oh my god! It must have been back in the eighties or something. And I remember really liking it. It's like, oh my god, it's on the album. Yeah, fantastic. I just, yeah. I just love that song. Yeah. Another catchy one, number four, uh, "Cherry Medicine." Uh huh. Oh, so good. And that's one of the songs that could be number four, three, two. Yeah, it keeps, it keeps the bars, eh? Oh my <laughs> yeah. god! The next four songs, it could be anywhere. Oh it yeah. It could be anywhere. You know. Oh yeah. Um, fighting for life. What a cool song. Oof. What a what a 
punch, a kick in the gut. It's amazing. The lyrics, the co the content of that song, um, Cosmic Heart, another oh, one. Oh, yeah, another you one. Know? Yeah. Um, very much like Fighting for Life, just so not typical Ace. So, yeah. you know, he really pushed the boundaries of oh, what yeah. he can do in this album, Big I time. found. And Big really, time. where I find he really pushed it was my favorite song in this album. And I keep playing the song over and over. I just love it so much. Life of a Stranger. Oh, really? Wow. What Life a of a Stranger. Yes. Wow. Now, I know that, that, that song is a cover. Mm -hmm. they, they, it played on um, the Transporter. Yeah. And, yep. and I remember credits. I saw, yes, I saw a video. Ace said that he liked that song and he wanted to do it, but he wasn't sure if he could pull it off vocally. Yeah. And I don't care what they did to help him pull it off vocally. My God, he pulled it off. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. love that song and what he did to it. Yeah, that's so, a beautiful rendition. Beautiful song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song, for sure, number one for me. Super nice, man. I liked it. So uh, really surprised, man. I didn't know that uh, you were going to pick that one as the yeah. first one. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with the opposite. I'm going to start with the, with my most favorite, and then I'm going to go down. So okay. to me, uh, the, the, the song that I like the most, it's uh, without a doubt, uh, Fighting for Life. Mm. Fighting for life, man. Uh, well, you said it before, you know, so rock and roll, the sound of the guitars, you know, the production, the lyrics too, you know, uh, I really loved it. So fighting for life comes first. Then I'm going to go with um, with Cosmic Heart, uh, mm. another great tune. Uh, you know, in the most favorite, we're, we're in the same, uh, on the same uh, zone, uh, you and I. Then um, I have to pick, um, you know, constantly, even though it's a little bit, um, I have to say maybe I, I listened to it many, many times, you know, because it was the single, but man, I love 10,000 volts. Mm -hmm. I, you know, that song, man, when, when, uh, when I listen to the album once, uh, you know, over and over again, and that song, you know, kicks in, I love it, man. So, you know, it's the, the riff, it's great. And the sound is great too. So then I have to go with um, uh, life of a stranger. Uh, awesome tune. Uh, back into my arms, great rendition in a beautiful, beautiful, you know, it brings me back to in the 80s, man. It's like uh, listening to to uh, uh, Freely's Comet. Man. I don't know why, but there's something in that song that brings me back in time that makes me really, really happy. Um, I'm going to go with uh, a Blinded, uh, Up in the Sky. Uh, I agree with you. Um, uh, constantly Cute. Um, you know, really catchy, really fun song. And my least favorite, it's uh, Walking on the Moon. So Walking on the Moon, I have to put it, uh, you know, a little bit uh, down in the list. Um, and Cherry Medicine, you know, fighting with with uh, Walking on the Moon, you know, uh, side by side. Um, I don't know, there's something with Cherry Medicine that uh, even though it's catchy, uh, I don't know. There, there's there's some parts in the song that uh, actually doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't work for me. But uh, still, it's very tough, man, to to say that it's the least favorite song of a great album. It's a still a great song, you know. You know what I mean? Because it's a great album. That's that's all I can say. Okay, I have I have to ask, right? Because everybody's comparing this album with his original 1978. Yeah. And, and listen, in my opinion, in terms of his solo um, records. This is absolutely, in my opinion, his best. Oh, really? My okay. favorite. Um, I like every single song on this album, some more than others. But overall, when I play it, I don't skip songs. Mm -hmm. I play it from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah. I don't even do that with a solo album, the 1978 solo album. There's some songs like, ah, oh, skip. You know, there's a couple, okay. of, a couple of songs I just skip. I'm going to say I actually like this album more than the 78 solo. Wow. wow. I really do. I love wow. this album that much. Wow. Do, do you think that it could be because it's new? Do you think that it's going to stay uh, with time, you know, that um, maybe you're not going to be skipping any songs? There, the, the solo album doesn't have songs like, for me, Life of a Stranger, where it's like, mm. it, just, it, just, it just does something to me, that song. Mm -hmm. Cosmic mm -hmm. Heart, it does something to me. Mm -hmm. The fun of Cherry Medicine, you yeah. know, such yeah. a blast listening to this car. And I can't wait till summer hits. I can roll down these the, the windows oh, yeah. and listen to this album. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and I gotta say something else. I've always 
I always felt like if I were to introduce new fans to Kiss, would I li make them listen to Ace? I mean, I'm thinking no, you know, hmm. not even a solo album. But this one, yes, man, yeah. guys, yeah. pay attention to this album. It is it's true. Some, it's something else. It is true. It but is again, true. that's my opinion. Yeah, but you know what I what I find is that, uh, and that actually made me really happy, is that it sounds fresh, yeah. it sounds honest, and it sounds modern. You know, it sounds like something that uh, it's really worth, you know, sounding today. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound like uh, 80s uh, rock or 70s or, you know, classic rock. It sounds really, really, really alive today. Man. So I love it. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Now, I want to end the episode with the following. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, on a scale of one to five, yeah. five being excellent, yeah. how would you rate 10,000 volts on lyric, lyrical content, musicality and melody so you would like to have one one for each one of those uh yeah. one for okay so lyric content i'm gonna give it maybe uh i don't know maybe a three and a half four uh musicality i'm gonna give it a, a five and melody i'm gonna give it a, a 4.5 so overall um to this album man to me it's a 4.5 you know easily easily in okay total. You, uh, what about you? So for me, lyrical content, a three, because okay. there's a lot of songs that are very typical A songs, but yeah. Cosmic Heart, Life of a Stranger, Fighting for Life, these songs elevated this album on another level that you, you don't see in its other solo projects. Um, musicality, you know, definitely a five. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone playing on this album elevated Ace to a level that couldn't have happened without any of them. Um, Ace could not have done this album alone. He really yeah. couldn't. Yeah. So kudos to everybody involved here. You you guys came up with an amazing album, and Ace looks fantastic as a result. Definitely a five there. Now, in terms of melody and catchiness, a four. Mm -hmm. A four. I find myself bobbing my head to most of the songs on this album, and this is exactly the way I love my music. Simple, catchy, and fun. And this album has all of that. So if I have to ask you, how would you rate the album, you know, in total? So how much would you give from one to five? 4.5. Wow. There you go. 4.5. Wow. The wow. only thing that brought it down for me is, is Walking on the Moon. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. But still, you don't skip it. Eh? <laughs> no, because I like that song in the context of the, the concept album. of the album. So no, I wouldn't skip it. Absolutely Good. not. Absolutely Love not. it. Love it. So, Kiss Army, what did you think of uh, 10,000 Volts? Let us know in the comments section. Once again, thank you very much to all of our listeners for not only supporting us, but supporting the amazing guests we have on the show. It is deeply appreciated. So, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you, Kiss Army. Thank you for being here. See you soon.